What's up everybody? How's everyone doing out there today? Welcome back to Wildcat MTG and today we are going to dip our toes back in the Dominaria Remastered Draft Booster Box Waters. Uh, Dominaria Remastered is a set I really enjoy. Um, I think there is a lot of very cool reprints in this set. I think the limited experience was really really good. I enjoyed drafting it. Um, it's hard to believe that this set already came out only uh, like this year. Like it, it was the first set released this year, but that feels, it feels so long ago. And I think that's because there's already been like four or five sets released since then. Um, anyways, we're going to crack this open. I know I'm on the lookout for a few things specifically, and uh, hopefully we have some good pulls. With that being said, why don't we go ahead and dive on in and let's crack some packs. So as of the filming of this video, these boxes are down to about $130. And I say down, they've probably been sitting there for a little while now, but uh, down when you consider where these these boxes came out, I think they, I wanna say they debuted at around $200 a box. Um, the collector boxes were north of 300, and I think those are down in like the 200 range. Um, again, it's a product I really like. A lot of the singles, you know, I think there's been a pretty good saturation of, of the singles in here. And, you know, since that time, Lord of the Rings has happened. People are also kind of waiting on hold for to see what's reprinted in Commander's Masters. I think that's part of it, but at $130 a box for a chance at Vampiric Tutors and Forces of Will and uh, all the other tutors, Enlightened, Mystical, um, Worldly, etc. Yeah, it's, uh, I think it's fairly low risk at this point. So hopefully we see some good stuff today. All right, Sawtooth Loon. Undead Gladiator, uh-huh. Windborn Muse is our first rare of the box, sure. We got our, uh, our Retro Frame Wild Growth token and land. It is a full complement of packs. Um, my one nitpick, I guess, about the draft boxes specifically is that you are only getting one rare regardless. Unless there's a foil rare, I should say. That's kind of the caveat. Oh, nice high tide. It's a good uncommon there. Treva's Ruins, Dodecapod, ooh, Bear Mythic, hey, Sneak Attack, all right, that's not bad, uh, Sneak Attack is probably sitting, probably, I want to say like eight bucks, I feel like is probably Sneak Attack land, that's a good solid Mythic, I will definitely take that, Street Wraith as the uh, retro frame, nice, printed at common level, no less, um, unless you get a foil, rare, or mythic, um, you're only getting a one one rare pack. Um, and I, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Like I do think that it sort of uh, keeps the, the amount of printings of each card in the low side. And, and overall, maybe that's a good thing. But I feel like if you hit like a retro frame then in that slot, then you should still be live for another, another rare, right? Sarah Angel, Gamekeeper. Glory, so there is our retro frame. There's a retro frame rare for this pack that is Glory. And of course, again, as I just mentioned, you're only getting one rare per pack, so now there is no other. That's an Avrax. And I got our forest and our token there. Um, and maybe that just they just keep it so you're only getting like two retro frame rares per box or something like that. So they're kind of like special, but that way you you can hit a couple of like double rare packs and it you know it, it does it without diluting it. Um, the other sort of nitpick is that these boxes are notorious, notorious for duplication. Um, it is not a matter of if you are going to get duplication, it is a matter of what cards are you going to get duplicated. Rare is a cryptic gateway, and I hope that's not one of them because I don't need to see that card. A little Mindstone action after that, and a foil retro frame terror. That actually does look really cool. Beautiful boiling there. Beautiful boiling indeed. All right. Uh, yeah, and, you know, I mean, I think the last box I cracked of this, I got like four gambles in the same box. There are worse rares to do that with, but then the other two rares, that I, there was another couple of rares that I hit massive duplication with, <clears throat> and they were not as kind. And it's like when you hit like a bulk rare, and then you see it again and again and again in the same box, you're like, ah, it's kind of a little demoralizing, right? Dragon's Whelp. <clears throat> Ground News Crusade. Rare is a, hey, Isolated Chapel, nice. I will take me some check land action, very nice. These are still very affordable. And a retro frame Spirit Monker. Got our island in Sapperling. Yeah, you know what? Um, I'm not I'm not a hater of check lands. They're not like my favorite lands. I definitely don't mind seeing them at the draft box level. I don't love seeing them when I'm pulling them in collector boxes, but um, I, I'm not, you know, again, they're, they're good playable commander lands, so not upset about pulling them. I uh, especially don't mind them at the draft box level. All right, fire and ice, improvised armor, Milliken, 
Rare is AA, there we go. Nice, tutor number one, Mystical Tutor. Very good. I think Mystical Tutor is probably sitting, I want to say, around, um, around, uh, around seven bucks or so. So that is a pretty solid, what do we have behind that? Oh, Frantic Search, nice. Good old Retro Frame Frantic Search. Yeah, I'll take the, you know, I'm here for all the tutors. Uh, this is me just uh, cracking some packs, having a good time, and building up the old personal collection with all the tutors and things I did not have prior to this set. I mentioned I'm a big fan of this set, and one of the reasons why is prior to Dominaria Remastered, like, I didn't have any mystical tutors. I didn't have any gambles. I didn't have any enlightened tutors. Ooh, nice. No mercy in the retro frame. That is our second mythic, and that is a decent mythic to get. I'm going to guess this is probably in like the $8 to $9 range. Pretty good. Pretty good indeed. And that is a, by the way, that is a mean, mean card. I love the retro frame on it. Nice pull. We will take it. Pretty good, pretty good on the rare side so far, on the mythic side, I should say. Kildorn Gargoyle. And as you can tell, there's not like a one rare per pack sort of thing. So the rares, you know, uh, excuse me, foils, uh, you know, so they, they do hold a little bit more weight. They're not as easy to come by unless you're cracking collector boxes. Pretty sure I see a borderless card back there. Let's hope that it's a good one. All right, Evil Eye of Orms by Gore, Polluted Mire, Orms Thunder, Lull, Call of the Herd, uh-huh, Circular Logic, Nantuko Monastery. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, nice. Enlightened Tutor in the Borderless. Very nice. Uh, you would think that these are more expensive but I, I than the regular versions, but I actually think they're less expensive than the regular versions. That probably has to do with a lot with the collector boxes. Uh, but I do believe this Enlightened Tutor is around $14 or so. So I will absolutely take that. And a Fire Blast, uh, not a bad retro frame to get behind that. That was a really cool reprint is uh, the Fire Blast. So uh, yeah, we're not even through our first calling yet. We've got two pretty good Mythics. We've got a nice check land there. We've got uh, an Enlightened Tutor, a Mystical Tutor. So, so far so good. Um, you know, I mentioned that the, the sealed price of these boxes are down to 130. I'm not telling anybody to run out there and pick them up. There might even be room for them to fall a little bit more. Um, I believe that these the set was printed in an abundance, so I don't think there was, you know, unlike Time Spiral Remastered, which was like good luck getting your hands on any of it. Urza's blueprints, meh. Seer land token. Um, unlike TSR, which was like really really tough to get your hands on. I'm pretty sure that Wizards covered their bases on this reprint, this remastered reprint, and um, there's definitely a lot of draft boxes available. But that being said, when you stack up a Dominaria remastered draft box at $130, and then you consider that any standard release set of 2023, the set boxes are going to be like $130, and the draft are going to be like $110, $115. To me, Dominaria Remastered, oh my goodness, there we go. Good Mythic, good Mythic. Sylvan freaking library, never unhappy about seeing this card, never add, unhappy about adding this to my personal collection as well. Uh, I think Sylvan libraries are sitting at like 22 bucks, like really reasonable, uh, but that is uh, that qualifies as a top tier Mythic. I think it's Force of Will, Vamp Tutor, and uh, then like Library and Incubator running neck and neck. Uh, that's Urza's Incubator. Marg War Marshal, Invigorating Boon as the foil uncommon. Nice. And again, to my point, like, you know, if a standard draft box, a standard set draft box is going to be 115 and a set box is going to be 125 to 130 and a Dominaria Remastered is also 130, for chances at Force of Will, Vampiric Tutors, Sylvan Libraries, and all the other 2Ds, Tutors, 2Ds? Tutors? Uh, nice. Good, uh, good Swords of Plowshare there. That to me makes this a fairly... I don't want to say low risk, but a denizen of the deep. There is a, another uh, retro frame rare. About a million of those. Cackling Fiend after that. You know, but for my shot at a force of, you know, $50, $60 Force of Wills and an abundance of $10, $15 tutors, it is weird to see Vamp Tutor, like, down to, like, $30 to be able to pick up a Dominari Remastered copy of, of Vamp Tutor is, like, $30. Vamp Tutor, I'm so used to be that being like a $40, $50 card prior to the last couple of reprints. Uh, but again, that's not a good, that's not a bad thing. Turnabout. Icy Manipulator. Night and Day. Rare is a Zur, the Enchanter. Uh-huh. Rare after that. Oh, nice. Uh, Retro Frame Elvish Spear Guide. That is actually uh, worth, that's probably worth a few bucks, actually. That's really nice. I'll take that. If that were foil, that would be like a... 7 to $10 card. All right, pretty good column number one. Um, I don't remember the mythic counts in these boxes. Actually, as I recall, they're kind of all over the map. I've seen people get like three or four mythic boxes. I think I've seen as low as, yeah, I want to say four to, to stay 
on the correct side without over exaggerating. I don't remember immediately if I've seen a three mythic box, but then I've also seen like seven myth mythic boxes too. So there is some variance there, which is kind of interesting. Another Denison of the Deep. So unfortunately, it looks like we're in for some duplication and Denison of the Deep. Not what we want to see. Goblin Matron, nice reprint in the retro frame there. Cool. Uh, of course, we've also got reprints of uh, Urza, Lord High Artificer, and uh, Yogmoth. Uh, those are down significantly now, but they've had a, they've seen a couple of reprints now, and that's what happens. But they're still really, really good played cards. Uh, Yogmoth is, uh, you know, it's a combo deck in modern. Urza is a really good commander. So, oh my goodness. Uh, I feel like this box is just rewarding me for being a, a faithful believer in Dominary Master. That is a Sylvan Library retro frame. That's probably like a $20 card, $22. I think they runs neck and neck with the uh, the regular version. I like them both. Uh, not unhappy, I'll say it that way. Very, very cool. That is a, That qualifies as a monster hit for us. Very nice. Sylvan Library. And, uh, you know, keep in mind, prior to the reprint, Sylvan Library is like, ooh, oh, oh, that's beautiful. Swords of Plowshares Retro Frame Foil. That's gorgeous. I don't normally do this with uncommons in this set, but yeah, that's going up top for sure. And I'm going to guess it's like five or six bucks. Um, yeah, not bad. I think I was saying, finishing my thought on Silver and Library. Keep in mind, Silver and Library was like, prior to this reprint, was like a $40 card. Um, not sure how long, you know. Again, I, I think this, this product is, there's an abundance of it out there. It's not like a, you know, blink and you'll miss it thing. You know, but uh, it has just good cards in it. Like, it has a lot of good cards. All right, Dromar's Cabin. Sulfur Falls, not bad. I'll take a check land. Very cool. I do think the check lands run about, like, $2. I don't think that they're anything crazy price-wise, but, you know, there are, there are, are much bigger feels bads uh, in terms of pulling pulling rares in this set. I give you Denison of the Keep. <laughs> uh Right. Um, Exploration is another rare I don't pull a lot of. I wouldn't mind seeing. I Really, I've opened as much of this as I've opened. Oh, it's a fair amount. I've, I haven't opened like a crazy amount, but a pretty good amount. Uh, I think I've only pulled like a couple of Explorations. Nature's Lore, very nice uncommon there. Divine Sacrament, yeah, we were kind of overdue. We've, we were lighting it up for a while. Necro Savant in the retro frame. Was that originally? Uh, Necro Savant, was that originally... Visions? I'm gonna say visions. Could be wrong about that. It's visions or I don't think it was weather light. Could be wrong. Alright. Uh, so far, and we're approaching the halfway point in the box. I think we're doing pretty well. Fact or fiction. Deadwood tree folk. Who am I kidding? Pain and suffering. Another mythic. Ah, uh, World Gorger Dragon. Alright. It's kind of the first real swing and miss, and I know that some people get nostalgic about World Gorger Dragon. Um, you know, we have to acknowledge, unfortunately, as far as financial value is concerned, it is kind of a swing and miss mythic. But when you take the layout of the other mythics we have, really, I, I can't complain. I really can't complain. Empty the Warren's nice, and a Terminal Moraine foil common after that. All right. Yeah, I haven't pulled a lot of explorations. Um, explorations. Um, I would not be sad about seeing Birds of Paradise, and I'm never going to be sad about seeing Entombs. Entomb was a card that desperately needed a reprint before this, and you know, not to pat myself on the back too hard, but uh, there are some people that uh, are watching this video or will watch or will watch this video and can attest to this. Um, Entomb was thirty dollars prior to the reprint, and I was like, I can't do it. I cannot bring myself to pay thirty dollars for an Entomb. I'm just going to hold out. It will get reprinted. Oh, nice retro frame gamble. Very cool. I'm going to say this is probably between four and five bucks. I'm going to throw it in our tutor pile, regardless of whether you think it's a tutor or not. <laughs> some people do, some people don't. Uh, to each his or her own. Uh, but I held on on the Entombs, and, and now you can pick up Entombs. Entombs from, from Dominar Remastered are like six bucks. So, uh, I and I have a lot of them, and I am okay with that, like 100% okay with that. I might have like seven, eight Entombs now. Uh, all right, Aven Fate Shaper. Flesh Reaver. Spectral Lynx. Rare is a Crawl Space. Might be good for a buck or two. Momentary Blink. Uncommon Lightning Rift after that. Uncommon Foil Lightning Rift. All right. Yeah, I mean, basically, I, I did have some Vamp Tutors prior to this set, but all the other Tutors basically got from the set 
Uh, force of Wills. All my Force of Wills have come from this set. Um, sneak Attacks. I'm pretty sure it's the same deal. So, big Dominaria Master fan. Count, uh, common, common Counter Spell. Remote Isle. All right. Mesa Enchantress. Good Uncommon. Nice Elvish Spirit Guide. Also take it. Griffin Guide. Rare is a, a Borderless Absorb. Not like a home run, but I got to give it up for the coloring and, and the art on that. It's a beautiful card. It really is. If not valuable, unfortunately. Uh, Mystic Enforcer after that. All right. So, you know, I hate to say something out loud because I like don't want to jinx. Actually, really, the duplication factor. So far, we've only had a duplicate Denison in the Deep, and the other duplicate we've had is a Sylvan Library. Pretty good. Pretty good. There is also a borderless Sylvan library. So if we are gonna, if we are on the duplication train, uh, I would not, I would not frown upon a borderless Sylvan library. All right, Deadpool. Order Chaos. Rare is a Yorail Manvali Recluse. Duress in the retro frame. Mountain bird token after that. All right, let me give myself just a little bit of room here. Otherwise, I might knock this pile over. We've got three packs left in this middle column. Suffice to say, I think we're doing pretty well. Something like a, you know, like I said, a borderless uh, Sylvan Tutor, Sylvan Library, um, or a any sort of Force of Will would really top this box off, but I don't really have any complaints. Body Snatcher as a... Uh, retro frame rare, Orum's Thunder, Obsessive Search as the co uh, foil common after that. We are still live. We have not hit a foil rare. Um, I think these boxes, I mean, kind of modern times boxes are, you're, they're usually about, it used to be one foil rare per box. Like that was, that was it. Uh, modern times boxes, it's, you're averaging about two to three and we have not pulled any yet. So... Still live for that. Voice of all. Rada air to killed. Gerard's verdict. Rare is a spinal embrace. And a wild dogs again after that. Followed by our forest in token. All right, last pack of the middle column. What do we pull out of this column? The Enlightened Tutor come out of this. Definitely one of the Sylvan libraries. Pretty good, pretty good. Would not mind any more uh, getting some more tutors. I see another borderless card. All right, here we go. Break asunder. Fire Blast again, nice. Battle Screech, uh-huh. It is a Flame Tongue Kabu. Actually, as far as uh, Borderless cards are concerned, that's really cool. I really like the Uncommons and the, they think they did Street Wraith as well and I think they printed that at Common. Really good. Rare is, ah, uh, it's a Cryptic Gateway. That is their second Cryptic Gateway and it's not even like a different version either. Bad. Chainer's Edict after that. Oh, and a test, it is a Foil Mythic Test of Endurance. Well, it is a Foil Mythic. Uh, and you know, you're only getting one of these or so per box, and I just mean foil rares in general, maybe two. Unfortunately, it's not a very good one. Test of Endurance is, uh, it is a womp womp. Not gonna be said about a foil, uh, pack foil test of endurance, but yeah, that, that, that is a bit of a swing and miss there. All right, last column. Overall, uh, you're giving me a couple of Sylvan Libraries and a bunch of tutors and even a retro frame foil. Swords of Plowshares. Overall, I'm happy. Drowner's Crusade. Decimate as a retro frame. And we have really, other than that library, it has been unkind in the retro frame rare section. Iker Slick after that. Forest Elephante token. All right. We are at six Mythics, by the way. I think that's, that's noteworthy, especially since we're just entering the last column. And as I mentioned, I have definitely seen four Mythic boxes. I don't know that I recall seeing only three. But uh, there is some variance there. Here we go. Ickerslick. Flood Gate. Flame Tongue Kabu. Improvised Armor. Hunting Grounds. We did get a Borderless Mythic. It is a Hunting Grounds. Also, unfortunately, kind of a swing and miss. But all things considered, I'm going to be okay with it. It is really cool looking. Uh, it's just kind of a... Yeah, it's kind of a... It's kind of a meth Mythic. I actually like the card, but... Let's, let's call it what it is. It's not valuable. Turnabout as a nice... Uh, retro frame, uncommon, and a Sarah Angel, beautiful Sarah Angel, foil uncommon after that. Anybody played with Hunting Grounds? If you're watching this video and you've played with the Hunting Grounds in your commander deck, talk to me about it. What, was, what were you building around? Like, what was, what, what deck was that part of the 99 in? 
obviously I do think it has some playability. I just want to know what people like how best people built around the card and, and really utilized it. All right, slice and dice. Rare is a gemstone mine. Nice. Uh, gemstone mine might only be like a dollar, but I still think it's a, it is a obviously a really incredibly playable card. Not unhappy with that. Nice little spirit link after that. And our land token. Also really like the lands. I mean, that's a weird thing to talk about, especially since every set comes out with fancy new basics nowadays. But I think it worth, it's worth mentioning that I really like the retro frame, uh, the retro frame basic lands that they included in here. Milliken. Call of the Herd. Circular Logic. We did... Wow. Well, I can't be upset about the Mythic count in this box. That's for dang sure. Uh, that is another hunting ground, so we get a little more duplication. But you know what? If it's going to be uh, it's gonna be duplicate, you know, it's going to be Mythics, I'm going to be okay with that. That's way better than, like, Cryptic Gateway. So, Tormod's Crypt as a Retro Frame Uncommon. And then Urborg Siphon Mage as a Foil Common after that. That does bring us to eight Mythics. That's a lot. That is a whole lot. Uh, boy, did the pile of uh, <laughs> bottom tier and top tier mythics start to even out pretty quickly, though, huh? <laughs> All right, can we get some worldly tutor action? If I'm going to be, like, greedy, I might as well be, like, full-on greedy, right? Frantic Search, Keldoran Gargoyle, Terravore, Zombie Infestation, another Spirit Monger, Oh, hey, nice. Retro Frame Cliff Topper Treat. Uh, in comparison to the other Retro Frame rares we've hit, uh, Cliff Topper Treat looks like a looks like a gem at this point. That's cool. And I love the I do love the border on that. I think it looks really good. Credit where credit is due. Remote Isle after that. And Argabo and Planes. All right. Looks like we got, probably got like six or seven packs left. Truck and ride along here. We might still be... Well, we do have two Retro... We do have two Borderless rares, so... We might, we might be live for a third. Oh, no. Three hunting grounds. Yep. All right. That's usually about the box limit. Damping Sphere. Nantuko Monastery. Faceless Butcha. Rare is a Rish, the Awakener. Mm-hmm. After that, a Renewed Faith, Swamp, and Goblin. All right. Yep. Cool. All right. Mythic count this box really, really took me by surprise. Again, I'm thinking like four to six on average, so about five. Well, we're packing in eight. Feeding Magpie. Chainer's Edict. Tatiova. Rare is a Mind Slicer. Mind Slicer. Factor Fiction in the Retro Frame. That's actually pretty cool in its own right. And a Foil Soul Canar the Swamp King. Uh, that is a uh, that is a foil rare. Uh, it is unfortunately not a very good one, <laughs> but you know, all things considered, can't uh, can't win them all. Can't all be hits. All right. Looks like we're staring down five packs left. Any other juice left? Here we go. Life and death. Turnabout. Icy manipulator. Rare is a Lieutenant Kurtar. Mm-hmm. White Mane Lion after that. All right, come on, box. We're not, even, we're not even asking for Mythics. Just give me a couple more, like, good, playable rares. And this box is going to be great. It'll be just fine. Remedy. Mm-hmm. Valaduk, Flame, Keeper of the Flame. Tormod's Crypt again. Uh, this is a Street Wraith. Cool. All right. Borderless Street Wraith. Again, really dig it. Obviously, super playable card. Uh, it's a staple of Living End. Umbilicus in the Retro Frame. Uh, swing and Miss. Veiled Serpent after that. Mountain Insect Token after that. Yeah, that Retro Frame. Man, oh man. I, again, can't really complain considering one of them was also a Sylvan Library. So, you know. No Ragarets, but... Struck out on basically the rest of them. Night and day. Dark withering. Rith's Grove. Chainer Dementia Master. That is a uh, borderless rare. All right. It's cool. Uh, yeah, it's a little something in there. It's not valuable, but I love the card. I love the, the art on it. I'm the Juggernaut as the Retro Frame Planes and Squirrel. Two packs left. 
started hot and cooled down a little bit, but I got to I got to say again, duplication is something we expect, but to get duplication in mythics even if the mythics aren't even necessarily high quality, at which point one of ours really was, no real complaints. Phyrexian Scuta. Another swords to plow shares. Swords. Hinterland Harbor. That's cool. That is our fourth check land of the box. That is actually kind of a lot. Counterspell. Nice retro frame counterspell. That's cool. I don't know why I was shaking it like it was a foil. Frantic Search after that, which is a foil. Swamp Gobbo. Last pack here. All right. Any other juice left in this box? Let's find out. Avon Fisher. Ovenomancer. Salt and Battery. Storm Entity. Rare is a Xur the Enchanter. There's a, yeah, there's a second Xur of the box, because why not? Tiana ships Caretaker after that, and we conclude with our Forest and Token. You know what? Uh, the box definitely started hot and, and cooled off a bit. The second half of the box was a little bit of a letdown, but all things considered, Borderless Enlightened Tutor and Mystical Tutor, a Retro Frame Gamble, doubled up on our Sylvan Libraries, hit a No Mercy in the Retro Frame, and a Sneak Attack, doubled up on our Hunting Grounds, a Test of Endurance as a Foil Pack Foil, Pack Foil Mythic, and a World Gorger Dragon, plus a variety of check lands. Like, again, compare this to like your, your average at $130 a box right now, your average standard box of 2023, and, and what that you're going to get value wise or whatever. To me, I, I like DMR. I, I think DMR is really cool. Uh, I think it's a really good set. Um, and right now, I, I don't say I don't like. I don't want to go on a limb and say like, oh, it's it's way underpriced or whatever. I think it's probably appropriately priced for where the singles are. But when you take a look at what the singles are in the set and where they will probably be if they go a couple of years without a reprint, which is always like a fingers crossed moment with Watsy, I think it's a good set. That is it for me today. I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor. If you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button for me. Hit the like button for me. And um, by all means, drop me some comments. I appreciate all the interaction. Thank you so much, everybody. And be well.